Ahoy and welcome. This is Admiral. Today in this video, we're going to look at what I think is one of the most interesting use cases for aura or proximity effects, namely in allowing for genuinely defensive bonuses. I'm not going to be talking about magical force shields or even healing, as the point is not to turn the game into a gimmicky turtle fest with fantastically unassailable defenses. But rather, we'll be looking at how proximity can be used to see that other bonuses intended as defensive are actually likely to be used that way. AoE 2 has a rich history of ostensibly defensive bonuses being used in extremely aggressive and polarizing ways, usually leading to outcry and to the bonuses themselves becoming watered down or removed entirely. For example, the old Korean bonus of faster built fortifications, including towers, on top of what used to be their free additional range, led to annoying asymmetries when it was inevitably used aggressively. And as a result, the extra range became locked behind a unique technology, and the faster build speed was taken away completely, until a variation was given to the struggling Sicilians. It's a similarly sad tale for the Inca bonus of villagers benefiting from blacksmith upgrades, which used to be unrestricted and was used in the Noburu rush to gain a significant advantage in early villager fights and tower rushes. The repair bills have so much armor they can comfortably repair this. This tower is not going down anytime soon. Say what you will about that cheesy strategy, but the bonus has certainly become blander since then, and can't even fulfill its original defensive intent throughout the Feudal Age, as it is now locked behind the Castle Age research. Even the old Sicilian bonus of faster built castles has been cut down to half its original effect size. So the idea is to consider how some new or possibly reinstated defensive bonuses might only work, or only work at their full strength when within a certain, but fairly large range of a town center, and perhaps only the starting TC in Dark or Feudal Age if one is worried about a certain relocation exploit made infamous by the Persians. It's hard to see the old Korean or Inca bonuses being overpowered or particularly tilting in the context of defensive towers or tougher villagers fighting off raids from home. Although I'm not necessarily proposing that those be reinstated as such, given the other buffs that those civs have since received. But effects based on proximity to a town center certainly could give designers a wider latitude in creating significant defensive bonuses that couldn't easily be appropriated for aggressive aims. I've mentioned this in my video about aqueducts and other buildings, but not all theoretically possible effects are currently accessible. The developers could likely add additional effects such as more arrows fired by defensively placed buildings, or a bit of bonus damage resistance, or extra bonus damage, for units fighting with the home field advantage. Again, this ought to be used with discretion, so as not to impose too many rules, restrictions, and batteries not included on certain bonuses. There are a few uh, provisos, a, a couple of quid pro quo. Or to elevate campy playstyles to obscene heights. But I think there is a bit of room for some genuinely defensive bonuses. For example, I might consider proximity restrictions for the possible defensive bonus of ranged villagers fighting with bows, by lowering their attack rate and damage if they're too far from your base, making this a strong defensive bonus, but difficult to use effectively in a cheesy early game villager or tower rush. But we'll be talking more about that potential bonus in my next video, and a follow-up to my earlier but unvoiced videos on the topic. So those are a few of my thoughts on aura effects for defensive purposes, but what do you think? Does this open up a new avenue of credible defensive abilities? And if so, which ones do you think would be the most interesting? Or does the subject of auras and defensive abilities make you defensive of simpler philosophies of gameplay and design? Either way, you can let me know in the comments. That's all for today. Till next time. <laughs>